Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a squeeze page from scratch using ClickFunnels 2.0. This is going to be the page that you can use to capture leads, which of course then takes them to the thank you page, which I'll be doing in a separate video. If you would like to follow along or maybe you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free 14 day trial. Let's begin. So first and foremost is what we're going to need to do once we're in a workflow and we have a new funnel created. I'm going to click on the plus button. We have a page here, and for this, I don't wanna go through any of the actual categories or anything. I'm just gonna click on new page, and I believe my internet is going extremely slow. Like everything is taking a long time to load. The categories aren't showing. This isn't ClickFunnels. I just noticed right before I went live, it's just, it's been doing this. So bear with me for a sec. I'm gonna click on new page, and I'm just gonna call this squeeze page, and uh, that looks good to me. Let's click on create page. And for the second one, when I do this second video, I'm going to do a thank you page. So once again, let's create a page here. And let's just do new page. And let's call it thanks. And of course, the page URL is going to be thank you. So we have our funnel set up in terms of the framework. So with this, let's just start with the squeeze page. That's what the video is going to be about, right? So let's click on or hover over this and click on edit. All right, and perfect. If you've ever seen any of my landing pages or squeeze pages I do, you'll probably be very familiar with the fact that I love keeping them simple. In this, I'm gonna replicate one of the squeeze pages. I remember last time I did Facebook ads, I think it was around the 77 or 78% opt-in on cold traffic, which is fantastic. So uh, what I wanna do is replicate that. Let's add a section. Within that, we're gonna need another like section under it. So we could do full page, we could do wide, we can do medium. Overall, I like doing wide and medium. I feel like sometimes if you do a headline, I don't want it to stretch out too much. With that in mind, let's go with wide. And one column is just going to be fine for me here. Okay, so first and foremost, we are going to need a headline. We'll probably also need a subheadline, but we can do some text before it. So what I want to do is I'm pretty sure I just went over it. Yeah, paragraph. Let's do some text. So double click this and we're keeping in mind, this is just going to be under the impression we're going to be giving away some type of free ebook. So usually what I like doing in the top is letting the visitor know exactly what they're going to be getting. So like free ebook reveals, free video training for you, free cheat sheet, free PDF. Let them know what they're going to be getting their hands on it. Because like, for example, say you were giving away a software that is a really high value and you want to really make sure to let people know that you're giving away software, right? Not often do you get to give away software and get it for free. So just as an example, either way, free ebook, we could say like valued at, you know, $47, something like that. Here we go. Next, we want a headline. So I'm going to do add element and let's do our headline. So let's just say uh, how to get 70% plus opt-ins using cold traffic, something along the lines of that. So this is going to be obviously for any type of internet marketer. So just having that in mind. And what I usually like doing is having a little bit more under this. So I can click on this. Let's see. Where are we? And we want to clone. And I'm just going to drag this down below. Usually what I like having here is some type of a uh, little bit extra. It's either an extra benefit or a call to action. You know, how to get 70% opt-ins using cold traffic. You know, it's easier than you think. Um, even if you've never created a squeeze page before, you know, without creating an entire, you know, video showcase for your training. Well, it's something that's a little bit extra. So we could do that. So even if you're new. Okay, so even if you're new to creating squeeze pages. Now, something else I want to add below it is going to be, let's do add element. <clears throat> and we have our, scrolling down a little bit more, uh, I know I missed it, input, okay? So input's going to be where someone enters their email, right? So what I want to do, input type, this is going to be email. This is going to be required. It's there. It's also very long. Like I, I feel it doesn't need to be, you know, as long as it is. That looks great. Underneath that, we're going to have a button. <clears throat> let's get a, there it is, button. And once again, what I can do here is we can do the padding. We can make it a little bit bigger. I do like making this a little bit, not necessarily wider is good too. Or let's do that. Let's do the vertical. Because if you make it really thin, it's going to be hard for someone to tap on it or click it. So a little bit bigger is better. We have a style. I like the blue. I already did that already. So we could do that. And of course, we can change this around too if you want to. 
I believe when I did this, I made it red. You know, that's something you can split test. Probably a last split test you're going to do. It's usually the headline that you want to, you know, edit or let's see if we can make this bold. Dot, dot, dot. The ugliest thing in the world. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, but hey, like I said, it works. Uh, what I want to do is copy this. Move this down here. And I want to make this really high from the top there. Okay, this could be your, you know, and what else is like privacy policy. If you're going to be advertising or like collecting emails, it's always good to have stuff like that. I'm not going to get too deeper into that, but all you would need to do is when you have those pages, you can simply highlight this right here. And of course you can link to it wherever you want to go. Okay. Oops. I just made that that color. Not a big deal, but what we also want to do email, we have that. Another important thing is going to be right here. Let's change this around. Click here to get instant access. What we could also do is, you know, even if you're new to creating squeeze pages, enter in your best email below. Or what we can do, actually, I'm not sure why it keeps saying that. It's spazzing out. Okay, let's go here. Let's go to email. And then let's do this. Enter your best email address here. Okay best email address, primary email address, whatever it's going to be. Now, if you look at this, this is like the least prettiest squeeze page you've probably ever seen. In fact, probably change this around to uh, button text. Let's see, this is what we're gonna wanna do. So submit order form, and then let's see, enable redirect override. We don't want that because what we wanna do is go to the next page. Uh, and I can show you that as well, but I just wanna save this real quick. Okay, now I want to preview. So what would happen is, you know, they would put their email there. They'd click on and click here to get into access. And just like that, we get taken to the thank you page. Don't forget that we haven't created this yet. It's here. That's why everything's blank. So it's not broken or anything. But that just shows you how you can create a squeeze page like very quickly. Uh, I understand this is not something super sexy looking, but it gets the job done. Just kind of going over the template. I've talked about this a lot, but kind of like um, reusing it with ClickFunnels 2.0. And kind of just recapping overall, remember we have our sub headline at the top, which is more of telling them what they're going to be getting. The headline, which is going to be the most important aspect of this, that's usually the only thing I'd split test. Then we have a little bit more, whether it's an extra benefit or something else. And then of course, you know, enter your best email address here. They click here to get instant access. Once they do that and they get taken to the thank you page, that's a very quick way of creating a squeeze page when you have some type of lead magnet. Heck, even if it's not for a lead magnet, whatever it is going to be, they get sent to the thank you page, which I'll be showing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have my link down below in the description where you can get a free two-week trial. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.